Welcome to Maintenance Made on a Budget. Today we're going to show you how to change out the bathroom faucet with a new Delta faucet. If you're new to my channel, uh, I did one of these earlier, uh, got a lot of views, and so I thought I'd do another one to kind of break down a little bit more intimately on how to take one of these apart and do it. I uh, got a lot of good comments on it, but I just wanted to, since I've got a spare one here, this is obviously not a full sink. It is a old top that I'm re, uh, re, refinishing to put back on a, an existing sink that I have. And so I'm doing two things. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the faucet. If you stick around and subscribe to my channel, I'm also going to be doing an epoxy paint for this. That's right. Um, so stay tuned for that if you're interested. Anyway, what you're going to need if you got yourself a brand new Delta faucet is you're going to need a couple tools. Main tools you're gonna to need is a good pair of channel locks. They look like this. It's a wrench that kind of adjusts, right? A crescent wrench and something called a basin wrench. Now I don't have a basin wrench because I, I like to suffer and I do things the hard way. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, basin wrenches though, look something kind of like this. Uh, it's a long extend, extended wrench and it'll have something like that at the end. If you go to any hardware store, just ask your uh, customer service where you can get one. They'll direct you to it. But it looks something like this, and I'll explain why. And then you may want Teflon tape. Just depends. Not needed, but I always add it anyways. All right, so we're going to get started with the disassembly part. All right, so now we're underneath the sink. First thing you would want to do is shut your hot and cold water supply off which would be on the other, usually on the other end of whatever your supply lines are. And so that's where the crescent wrench would come in. You just get your adjustable crescent wrench, you know, get it on the threads and just lefty loosey, righty tighty, those will come off. Once you get those two off, this is where your basin wrench would come in. Now I've already broke this free. This was very hard to get loose. And so what I ended up doing to break that loose first was I just sprayed some WD-40 on it, man. Squirt that in there. And it took some wrenching. But once I was able to start working these threads loose, the spray from the WD-40 works itself in as you thread it, and it starts to break it free and become more easy to take off. Um, but ideally, you can see there I've mutilated that one. Uh, but to get those off, that's where you would... Because you'd be ideally underneath, this is the back part of your sink. You're probably going to have the back part of the, you know, the cabinetry back in here. And it's going to be very tight. Plus, you've got this sticking down like that. Underneath my hand here would be the P-trap drain area of your sink. So, you would want to get a basin wrench. Because as you're laying on your back, you can slide it up. Right? And then it'll come up on here. And then you'll be able, you can see this is obviously not the right size, but I'm just showing as uh, per uh, demonstration only. You'd be laying on your back and you would grab it. And it, Now some of them look like just a pipe with one hook. And so you'll wrap the hook around and then you'll go like that. Okay. Either way, I don't use those. Uh, I should. So if you, if you're able to get one, get one. Trust me. It'll make your job easier. But if not, use the channel locks. And the reason I say you would need a good basin wrench is because of a situation like this. That thing was so rusted on there. And these are just plastic, right? But I didn't want to break it. Uh, regardless, if this is not something you do every day, you know, um, you can go with your channel locks. But just be ready. You know, once you get them on there, you'll just, and they adjust. And then you go lefty loosey, righty tighty. Okay, so you'll undo those. You'll also have here your actual uh, plunger assembly. So you'll have this piece with a rod that is going from here to here, right? And what that's connecting is inside is your plunger. And your plunger will be, the plunger would be lined up inside of here. So you'll be looking something like that. 
Okay. Now you'll unthread the plunger first and then um, you'll unscrew that rod. Okay, so yeah, you'll unscrew, so you'll have a, a clip at the end of this rod. And what you would do is you unthread your plunger here, take this, the retainer clip off here and you just slide that out. And that's all you need to do. Then um, you can just simply loosen the nut and that'll slide out. And that's all you would have to do. And then you'll be ready to pull the plunger out and pull the old sink off. Then you crawl your way out of there. And you just pull this up. All right, pull that out. Okay. Right. And then obviously you want to clean that up. Um, you know, clean it up, you could just use a scraper. Maybe it's some type of spatula. You know, scrape it all up. Clean it up. Good stuff. Now we're going to get the new one. Just put it down. It'll come with a plastic um, gasket. Get it down in there. And uh, then you crawl underneath and just put everything back. First thing you do, put your lock nuts on there. No need for any Teflon tape or anything special. Just put the nuts back on. Of course, yours are going to be brand new nuts that came with the Delta sink or the faucet. But anyways, you thread those up. You get them nice and cinched up tight, right? Next step would be, let's get that one up. Then you're going to take your new rod. Slip that down. All right, so you got those nice and tight. Your rod's back in place. Now you're obviously you're back under the sink. This is already on there facing that way. Your assistant or before you come down, when you're putting in this piece, obviously you're gonna have to put in your new plunger. Plunger needs to sit in the way that as it sits through here, all right, let's see if I can, give me a minute here. When it sits down in there, um, that hole will line up. So you'll see as you're looking down on it, let's see, all right. You'll have it like that. However, yours is that way. That way the plunger can thread in through here and actually connect into here. All right. So just make sure you line this up to the way you need it to face the alignment hole here. So once you got that already inside there, then you just, you're going to thread on your plunger piece again. And you get your bracket that it came with. You'll put it back through here, tighten down the lock nut, and then just align your rod however it needs to line up, which with that hole. And actually, you're going to line it up like that. So, and then you'll just... Now, the, the thing that you have to do with these is make sure that you have maybe you might get someone to help you you're going to want to pull this up and down and make sure that when you pull the way up, it actually will close your plunger all the way down and face the bottom of the sink. So it just takes a little bit of adjusting. But when you pull up on this, you see, you want that to line up inside your plunger piece here. I also forgot I wanted to show you the, to hook the new water hose on. You just simply thread it back on, and that's where I usually would put my Teflon tape. Um, usually I wrap the tape against the direction of how you tighten. So I'll take the tape and I'll just wrap it around that way because I tighten to the right. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, you don't necessarily have to do that because if inside, if you look, they have a rubber type gasket with a... Um, 
the copper tube is in the middle there. Um, but what it's designed to do is be pushed up as you thread it and seal itself with that rubber gasket. So you really don't need the Teflon tape. If you have Teflon tape by any chance, do it. But don't buy it. I would rather you buy the tool, the uh, basin tool, to help your job easier than... But these, you know, these, these things are cheap. Um, just depends on your budget and what you can afford and what you think you need and all that. But if you don't have it, don't worry. Just get this back on there, tighten it up nice and snug with a crescent wrench, and you're back in business. And then turn your water supply back on. And that's it. Your brand new Delta faucet on your sink. Um, so hope this video helped, guys. Um, if you like this type of stuff, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, Maintenance Made on a Budget. This is what I do. I'm all about doing things yourself to save money, especially in our high inflationary times we're living in. So, hey, if you can learn something on your own, save the cost of a plumber coming in and doing something like this or suffering with an ugly faucet for a long time, um, hit my channel up because this is all I'm about. Doing things on a budget. Um, not everybody has money to do things, so you know what? YouTube's great for seeing how to do things. Um, if you like, again, uh, I'll be doing the paint next, so if you want to see how that is, stay tuned for that. Uh, otherwise, take care, guys.